Hey everyone, welcome to another ecosystem session. I'm with Damien today and he's going to be showing us snap mail. Hey, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Damien and I've been working on uh, snap mail for uh, a year now, something like that, uh, part time, but you know, it's something, uh, uh, yeah, I can, I can do a demo or show you where I'm at uh, with Holochain, yeah. Super, thanks. So yeah, before we get into the demo, Damien, uh, you just tell us a little bit about you, your background, how you discovered Holochain. Sure, um, somewhat of a long story, but uh, I'm I'm software engineer. I, I worked uh, a lot in audio and video games for some time. And uh, after a while, I got a bit bored by it and by the lack of meaning of that, like what's the point of building yet another uh, shooter game like where you have to kill people all the time? Like that's, I mean, it's fun, okay, but what's what's the meaning for that? I, I didn't have any meaning for it, so I, I quit that. And uh, after quitting, I was interested in stuff like uh, self-governance, self-organization, trying to find something more meaningful. And, um, and I'm French, I come from France. Um, and then searching for things on collective intelligence, I uh, quickly, uh, quickly uh, Jean-Francois Nouvel came up. And so uh, Jean-Francois Nouvel is, uh, I guess, one of the minds behind Holo, Holochain in some way. Um, and so he was talking about uh, collective intelligence uh, things. And, but he also talks about technology and that was quite uh, intriguing and he did mention Holochain. So that's when I Googled Holochain and, and that was uh, even before the uh, Holoport uh, uh, Indiegogo campaign. And so that's how I, I got to know about uh, Holo, Holochain uh, by following that, that path. Um, yeah. Super. And then you've been working with, with Eric and Connor at Harris Braun Enterprises, I believe, for the last little while. So do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah. So fast forward a bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, been, been hired by Harris Braun Enterprise to, to work now on, on Snapmail, which is a, a Holochain app. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's based on um, Snapmail is something that Harris Brown Enterprise and Glassbit Software has, has made like a long time ago. Like it was al already some peer-to-peer -peer software to do, uh, to do uh, some so similar to, to like messaging, but it's more like internal messaging, in, intra, intra business, I think they call it like intra office messaging. And it's, uh, it's something they, they done for, for years like 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 in Napster era kind of peer to peer and um and so now they like to 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 you know to i mean to redo it in the in more modern software like to keep keep up to date with modern os and 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 the tech ecosystem and so they want to redo it in holochain so uh i've been hired to do that and um uh, and so since people are already there's already a legacy uh, user base of people using snapmail I try to to keep the uh, the uh, interface in the same style. So, but you know, it's it's in uh, Holochain, so it has to be in some form of uh, web based uh, web web interface. So, try to adapt the both. I'll show you in the demo, but that's that's uh, a bit of the story for now. Cool. And just tell me, like, as go back a little bit in your story, and I'd love to know what you believe about the world that makes sort of distributed technology so important to you? Um, sure, it's a big topic, but um, if I follow the lines of, I mean, I'm completely aligned with what Jean-Francois Nouvel uh, explained. And uh, basically what he says is um, like, we're in a, in a step in human evolution where we need to, to uh, evolve into a new type of uh, organization as a, as a as a species, I guess, and um, to to evolve that, we, we need uh, we are missing like the tools for that, for for more uh, uh, complex coordination at scale, and this type of um, organization requires the tools. That that's why they're I mean they're building Holo Holochain for that goal also. So um, 
So I completely align with that uh, purpose. And that's why I was super excited to, to contribute to Holo and Holochain and, and participate in some way in this, in this, uh, in this purpose. Um, I don't know if you want to go deeper into that, but at least that's the, the main, the main. Sure. Question. Yeah. A little bit deeper would be great. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's quite, uh, I mean, I don't know which aspects, but it's like, um, um, like, like the current, current model for uh, organizing it's, you know, it's the pyramid, like it's top down, uh, organizing, but we know that. We know now that this has limits, like you can't, um, like at the top, the, per the person at the top cannot have the knowledge of everyone. And there's like sensing that is done at the lower levels. And there's, you know, like communication channels from bottom to top is like um, not very uh, efficient, not working. Like, you know, there's there's layers of hierarchies that can block information and, and, and basically there's not much transparency. So th that's why like the goal is to uh, move to something more transparent. And that's why uh, Jean-Francois has a word for it, which is uh, holoptical or holomidal. And so that's that's where the name holo kind of comes from, is to be able to have some kind of uh, holomidal organization where each part of the system can see the whole. Whereas in a, in a top-down uh, pyramid organization, only only the top can see uh, the whole and only from, from a far point of view. And so the goal with holomodal organization is, is to be able to see the whole from every uh, part of the organization and have a way to, to blend all those um, viewpoints together. And that's kind of the philosophy behind uh, holo, where each node has its, its kind of view of the whole DHT, of the, of the whole network. And, and, and you can kind of blend those differences together and, and, and have, a, have a new way to organize. Amazing, super. Well, let's let's take a look in that way to organize and and yeah, maybe jump into Snap and Snapmail and check out the demo. Yeah, sure. So um, I mean, so yeah, I just expressed like big goals and stuff, and and compared to that, you know, like Snapmail is like email kind of, so it's so it's it's not like the tool for the future, but it's it's one step. Like doing that is replacing current tools and not have them work with a centralized server, just have the current tools, but with a decentralized backend. And once we have that working, we can start thinking of, of uh, new, new tools we can do with this technology. But uh, yeah, let, let me uh, bring it up. I don't know if I have a uh, sheen squaring rights on the- Always, my, my Zoom is set up with everybody okay. has rights. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm waiting for it to load. Here we are. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I sure can. So, um, so I'm, I'm demoing in the in the web page. Um, Snapmail is um, is more of a desktop app, but for this demo, I'm going to show you in the um, for now. I'm going to show you in the web app. I can show you in the desktop app afterwards. Super. But uh, it's easier for me to show networking or several nodes in the web app. So I can, so here I spawn like three instances. I'll just enter the um, agent names, the usernames for each of the agents. Um, and so it, it, so it's, it's kind of like Outlook or, you know, like a, a, a email kind of desktop app. So, um, so that's your inbox, your file box. So, so it's new accounts here, so it's empty for now. And uh, then you can write uh, emails here, and and the difference here is like since it's it's for internal use, like in, in small offices or in or small communities, then then you, you you have a directory of each um, agent, each nodes on the network. So uh, you you already have a list here of people on on the network, um, and you saw them come online. Um, so I can so I can write a mail. Subject. Uh, over here and uh, just pick to who I want to send the mail and send it. And so it will send in the, um, I can maybe split the screen for better view here. 
Um, so they each received the, the mail. And when I select it, you, you see there is a acknowledgement receipt that is sent back to the uh, original sender. And yep. so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like email, like you have, you have the, you can select it and you see the subject and I mean, it's, it's not much, but it's, it's working and it's, it's a start, you know, and uh, uh, I also had a uh, file sharing uh, Im implemented. Um, uh, I don't know if I can demo that right now. I mean, I, mean, uh, I, I can, but is there something else first? Well, one, one funny thing about, about Holochain is, so you can delete mails, you know, but since it's on your, um, it's on your um, source chain, then it, you can never really delete something. It's always on your source chain. So it's marked as deleted. And, and you can find it in your trash. So, so it's like in Holochain, you, ha you have a trash, but you can never like really, um, really empty the trash unless you like really go into the, um, the internals of the, of the database on your, on your, on your drive. But, um, but other than that, there's no reason for it to, um, to, to I mean, it's like a normal, uh, a normal email app. Um, I just need to find some silly, uh, silly things to to send. Um, Please. <laughs> <laughs> I for, I didn't think about that, but um, is it? And so and so, yeah. The, the big topic with color chain and file sending is like the size limit since you're sending files on the network, and the way it works is it's it's a. Uh, it's it's cut in small piece, in chunks, and so um, so you so you can send bigger files, but there's still this this limit of around 16 megabytes. Um, and I mean, even in, in current email, you're not supposed to send too much too 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 big attachments. So so that's that's somewhat of a, of a limit right now. Um, if I uh, so if so so if I want to send. Some kind of attachment. I can send this basketball here, um, and so it's it's added here. I can upload more files. Then I I select the person to which I, I send it, and there it goes. And uh, it should receive. A, there it is. And so in your email here, you have the list of attachments. And once you select it downloads, then here it is. So obviously here it's quite fast because I'm on a local network. Um, I mean, Snapmail is supposed to be more of a local network thing. But um, I mean, you can still use it uh, as a VPN also. But um, I guess that's the demo. It works. Can you show us a little bit of the Holochain code and how it's looking, look, working under the hood? Oh, um, sure. I, I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, I can <laughs> show you uh, the RAS code. Um, um, so I, I tried a pattern here of, of splitting the code in, in really a lot of different files, but um, it's so there's a lot of files, but it, there's not much code for that. Um, Basically, here I have the uh, I made um, here is all my entries for this uh, for this zone, and it's split up in uh, in three 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 parts. Um, I could do three different zones, but I tried to keep it. For now, I'm trying this pattern of just having everything in one zone, and so um, so there's like one zone that just handles the hand, the handle the the username, and then there's um, all the entries for for uh, handling the the mails, and so the way it works is that when you send the mail, it will first write the mail in your source chain as an in mail, and when the recipient receives it, it will write it in his or her source chain as an out mail, and so you always have locally all the mail you received. So that's all the and same thing for the acknowledgement. So in out. Uh, stuff like that. Something I, I can't really demo now is, is pending mail, obviously, is that if, if, if the recipient is not online, you can still send the message and it, it will be held by the DHT. 
And uh, once the person comes back online, it will download it from the DHT and will be marked as delete on the DHT. And so um, the pattern that's, that's not implemented yet is, is over time, the DHT will still hold all the uh, pending mail because it, only, it will only be marked as deleted, but uh, it can never be deleted from the DHT. So, uh, so the, in the future, like the plan is to have throwaway DHT pattern, which means that like every week or every month, the whole DHT is, is, uh, is trashed and a new one is, is spun up and, and, and uh, it will copy every uh, non-deleted entry to the new one, but everything that was marked deleted will just not be uh, copied back to the new DHT. So that's how you kind of control the, the bloat in some way. Um, but uh, more about the code here, um, there's the file, file, file handling part, uh, which I, like I said, there's a, the file is a manifest that lists all the chunks and then each chunk is a part of the, uh, of the file. Um, not sure which part of the code do you want me to explain, but... Um, um, That's cool. Actually, can we see the, how, how do we see the DHT? Um, Good question. Um, uh, I, I guess there's, there's, I mean, in in uh, as a user or as in uh, in uh, in the code. No, yeah, like in the code. No, I was just wondering if we could see the populated DHT because we know a few emails have been sent. Oh yeah, no, yeah. You have to. Um, hmm. Yeah, I can't really show it right now, but I I did implement a. Uh, like in the Holochain API, you can dump the source chain and you, you can see what's in your source chain, but um, you, there, I don't, there's no dump for the DHT for now. So there's no really way to know um, what's in the, in the DHT. Um, I mean, for now, most entries are public. So um, if you uh, see, I split like for the mail zone here, like I split between all the entries and all the, the zone functions. And uh, like, like if you go into the mail, it's, it's the, uh, it's, it's a HDK entry with, uh, you know, uh, fields in it. And, um, and, and since it's, it's, uh, I guess it's, it's kind of public for now, which means that you're, you're, even if you send a private mail to someone else, uh, it's going to be stored in the DHT even if that person is online, but that's something that's going to change in the future where uh, if the person is already online, the recipient is online, it's going to be sent by direct message. And so you can have private, uh, so it's going to be a private entry on your source chain. Um, yeah, not sure what more I can say here, but uh, um, but but the idea is once if the person is offline, then it's going to be stored at the DHT. And something I have to implement that was not possible before is to just encrypt the um, the message in the DHT. So it's stored in the DHT, but only the recipient has the key to decrypt it. Okay, cool. And I, I I did some some validations a bit, um, but. I mean, validation is like the part you want to do last because it's it's just like boring, uh, making sure everything is is as data integrity and 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 at first you want to to to, to just code the the features and make sure it works. But um, here in the callbacks folder, like I have every callback that uh, the HDK wants you to implement. So that's why, like at first, when the zone is um, like Genesis, like initiated, like there's a, there's a uh, path for the, um, there's just a general path for, for the um, directory. So we know where to find all the, uh, the directory where you can find all the handles of everyone on the network. Um, mm -hmm. And then like, it's, it's more, more like validation entries. And, and, and so, so for now it's like a big, big match here for each kind of, have entries, but and most of them are are fixed means for now. But at least like it's it's ready to be implemented. Um, maybe the one that's somewhat implemented is the file manifest, where you have to make sure it's under the size limit of of Holochain. 
So um, I look into this. Oops, just to pull up. Um, file size. So, so here in the file validation function, I'm just making sure the file is over the the current file size limit, and that's something like I think I put 10 megabytes, something like that. Um, which is good enough and a lot better than what I had before uh, RSM. Like I had um, since Snapmare is something I, I started uh, last year it was with the Redux version and and with the Redux version, like sending big chunks of data was very slow and and it kind of imploded over five six megabytes. So so uh, but now with RSM, it's it's way faster and and. Now I put a 10, 10 megabytes, but I think the real limit is something like 16 megabytes. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what else uh, do you have? Are I don't you know. Is, it, is there anything else you think? Uh, well, is it, yeah, is it, I mean, either through the application, the code, like it, can you highlight? some of the differences when you're designing snap mail so either from from a from a development perspective or maybe a user perspective but some of the differences than if you're using say exchange or or gmail or other some other mail client or mail server sorry mm. yeah well i mean to be fair i never implemented any uh, email software before. So I'm not sure the whole process for that. But for me, the big difference here is for Holochain is you're not implementing the email protocol. You're, you're I'm redoing the email um, use case but with Holochain, but it's not like the email protocol with, with you know, all the client server things to do. And um, yeah, all the protocol, like the RFC you need to, to respect. Um, so this is more like self self designed protocol for for emailing, but I, I guess the goal also of this, uh, I mean, for now it's email, but then it's it's quite interesting to 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 go beyond email after that, and and since it's like receiving packages messages, then the message is text, but like I have implemented file attachments, but then it could think of other things like uh, like uh, any kind of media or or tweets or whatever. I mean, I don't know, like you, you can, it's really the pattern of sending things of messaging, uh, but in a development. So I'm not sure the, to go back to email, I'm not sure what it implies, but the difference between doing it at Hologen and doing it with the email protocol. But uh, I mean, you're, on, you're also not tied to the DNS system since you have all the username space to, to handle yourself and make sure, uh, I mean, right now I'm using uh, agent IDs as unique and that fires, but what happens if two, two, two agents have the same username? Like since in my, uh, my snap name here, I can, I can have, everyone could be Alex, you know, like everyone can have the same name and it will reflect. Um, I mean, since you're in a small, small office kind of settings, it's not really a problem. Um, but uh, like in email that you can do that in email. Um, and so, and just to show here, like your your, uh, your agent ID can show up here, so you can differentiate by agent ID. Um, but when you're when you're when you're designing in Holochain, it's like a different way to think about uh, uh, how the data will be held. You know, like it's really about. Um, I mean, maybe I can show I can show that, but. Uh, I, I, I designed, I use, um, yeah, I, that's, that's how I, I, I have this model of, of snap mail. Like it's, it's wow. all the entry types. And, uh, and so you have to think of all the entry types, which are like the, uh, the boxes here and then all the, the links between them, which is more or less the red arrows. And it's since, it's, since, you know, it's a, it's kind of a graph database way of thinking, but also in a decentralized way of having uh, lo local uh, local access to data. So, uh, so, uh, so I mean, how to design 
holochain apps is like, uh, I mean, it's new and, and it's trying, trying to figure out the easiest way to design things. And for now I'm using some kind of UM, UML kind of design here, but for me it works. And like the, the way to read this is also that according to the color, it corresponds to a, um, a uh, you know, public private or entry uh, encrypted type of entry. So, so, you know, in a glance, which data is in the DHT and which data is private. Um, maybe that was kind of your question before, but uh, anything that's in the DHT will be in the, the green pending entry types, uh, whereas everything else is, is private entry entries that are in the, in the source chain, local source chain. Um, and so then, yeah, I, I added like specific UML data here just to make sure I'm data complete here and what entries I have, but like several entries share the same type of data structure. So that's why it's kind of, I have white, white boxes here to represent this. Um, but it's, it's, uh, I, th I think what's, it's kind of difficult to, to track each, each links. I think the linking is like the, the most complex part because you're like linking data in a graph database and you, you need to think about how from this source chain can, from this entry, can I get uh, this information and this entry? And uh, do I have to go by the DHT? Do I have to uh, direct message and ask for an entry if you know the um, if you know the uh, the um, the hash like the the the, the hash of the entry and so um, and so by doing this kind of design you can see if if like everything is here you can see like everything is is linked together so there's depending on what functions what function you're you're programming or implementing you can see if if it can work or not and if it's not working then yeah you need to add more some links somewhere. Um, and, and obviously like some, some, some entries are not linked, are not linked in a hollow chain link kind of way, like file chunks and file manifest, there's no links because the uh, manifests has in its uh, data structure all the address of the chunks. So it's not a hollow chain link, but you, you, you have directly stored the, the hash so you can query it in your local source chain. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope I didn't wasn't too fast. I mean, I don't know how much I can. I don't want to go too deep in technical stuff, also. But I mean, that's that's how I I did it. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, and here on the right, I was thinking of how can I expand from the uh, mail and and just by changing the the mail here, you can put some other type of information. So like a GIF or uh, I mean, I did the file, but it could be uh, any kind of of uh, of data you want to 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 transmit, I guess. Um, I mean, that's like for future thoughts, you know. Um, but yeah, that's it. Superb. Uh, any any yeah any parting thoughts? Parting thoughts. Um, oh yeah, I, I do need to show the electron app. I don't know if we have time for that. Great. Yeah, please. Um, Um, so I need to share back again. Here it's loading. So um, I don't know if you can see like it's, it's an electron app with a menu and, and such. And uh, it's the same interface, you know, it's, it's an embedded web page. Yep. But um, um, you can change your, so, so you, so here I already have something set up, but um, and when you first load, like you're, you're asked, like what net, what network type you want to use. So, so recently I added MDNS support to Holochain because when, once in you're in a local settings, you don't want to. I mean, the point of peer to peer and kind of distributed stuff is you don't want to configure a server and have to connect to a server to get network uh, working. So, so MDNS is like a good way to to have that. So you just have to install the app on, on each uh, local machine and by with MDNS, they will find each other automatically. Um, but if you want to have a bootstrap server instead, you can just enter the, the bootstrap server. And so right now it's, it's this one for Holo, but you can have your own bootstrap server. And same thing for proxy and and also a network ID. Like network ID is, is um, quite interesting because 
Um, if you want to have like your own private network of SnapMail, because there's there's like uh, SnapMail is like uh, one DNA, but you don't want to since it's for a local kind of private use of your own network. You don't want to see agents from other networks, from other offices, and so that's where you kind of you you can uh, you can type your company name or whatever, and that's that's kind of the UID of your your network, and with that it will generate a unique DNA hash for your network. And so that means you will only find people who type the same UID, even though you're using a, a public uh, bootstrapping server. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Mm, very cool. So what, yeah, what's coming next? And so, yeah, so what's coming next is that uh, what's still quite difficult, at least for me, is having to support all platforms. Um, um, I, I work mainly on, on Windows, and it, it does already have its challenge because, you know, Holochain is not very compatible with Windows. You have to have Windows subsystem for Linux to work. But at least, I mean, I, so I have that working, but I have to support Mac and Linux. and and like right now, I have still some some issues with Mac that I still need to figure out. But um, I'm quite happy right now where I am. Like the the app is is uh, is working, and uh, I mean, there's still you can there's always work you can do on UI to have like more polish and more more um, features to to make it easier to use. Like um, I mean, if you go back to the previous Snapmail app, you had things like auto reply, like templates for mails. Uh, you could have groups of users, so you can select a group and send a mail to a group of users. So it's more like more email kind of features. So um, not sure where to which one will be implemented next, but but um, I guess having um, what 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 I'm personally looking for is is you know having it like production ready and being able to to have it tested by um, groups of users. And uh, for that, I mean I'm quite happy where. Holochain is, is is going like it's is being more and more stable and so so um, since I can't release um, a production ready app if Holochain is not production ready right so so I'm ready I'm 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 waiting for that to happen and 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 once once it's it's uh, Holochain is more stable I could I could start rolling this app in in uh, to beta testers or whoever wants to try it out in a in a more like intense use because right now, like when I test right here, it's just a couple of users, a couple of mails. But what's really interesting about Holo is being able to scale up. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Yeah, super. Well, yeah, thank. Okay, thanks so much. Well, I'd love to see two or three months time, see see what you've been playing with, and see the progress. And as you say, like see as Polychain becomes more production ready, see what what happens as a consequence. Sure, be nice to do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much for your time, Damien. It's great to see you again. And yeah, it's I mean, I yeah, it was really cool. It was cool to see Snapmail working and some, especially some of the features of like how it's different. I um having something that's supposed to be you know local and more closed network, and then seeing some of the code and seeing your architectural diagrams as well. Really nice to see all the thinking. So thanks for taking us through that in such detail. Sure, my pleasure. Super. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing Damien soon, and yeah, look forward to seeing you all. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. See you. Bye.